What if I told you writing a cutting edge application was as easy as writing your to-do list? Well, today we're going to go through exactly that. And I know it sounds crazy, but using this brand new tool that's come out called Bolt.new, we're going to be able to pull back the curtain and see exactly how we could do this. The use case we're going to run through is just building maybe an AI and automation dashboard that you could use with your clients so they can see their usage, maybe some of the different key elements like their sentiment score or you know number of models you've got active for them. And again, this can be done, no coding, you can jump straight in, enables you to turn things around incredibly quickly. You can go from an idea to a product within a matter of moments and actually show this maybe to either your client as a prototype or again, you could actually look for maybe the investor side. If you've got an idea of something you want to build, develop, and so in the future, again, you could use a tool like this to show them visually versus explain the idea or do, you know, maybe some mock-ups in other platforms like Figma or PowerPoint to show maybe what that design would look like. So let's jump straight in. Today, we're gonna to be using bolt.new as mentioned, but what we want to understand is the actual output we're looking for. So as you can see here, this is what we're gonna be aiming for. So this is a dashboard that's done in CodePen. So we'll run through in a minute exactly how CodePen works but we want something that has maybe a few graphs. We can see you know, the different people involved or the AI models. All of this can be customized. So maybe you've got the satisfaction level you want to include. So again, what we can do is use this as a base and start to adjust it to our exact use case. But more on CodePen, this is a repository that we've got here, as you can see, where lots of people are constantly updating, providing new templates that you can use. So again, you've got the ones that maybe you want to follow. These are some of the trending ones. You've got some, maybe some people here that maybe of interest. I've had a look through and there's some great use cases. So for example, here, we've got ones around scrolling to the abyss. So this is where my mouse turns into a little submarine. You can see the different fish, you know, that exist or, you know, able to go down and it's really dynamic and it's quite visual. So it's great to see. Other ones are like this hexagonal grid. So this really reminds me of the Apple Vision and enables you to kind of see the different elements and you could select them. Again, maybe you've got some products or you're doing a different offering. You could use this as more of a visual way to engage with the customer. Another good one is this grid. So maybe you've got a help customer support section. Maybe you've got a lot of blogs and you're trying to write them and show them off on your website. You could use these different components to really talk to the customer, you know, show them some of the examples. We've also got other ones like this sliding card. So all you need to do is click and it starts to rotate through. So maybe you've got a product company, you want to show off some of the products. Maybe you've got a photo company, you want to show off some of your photography that you've done over the years. We can also include different elements in the website as well or the application. So as you can see here, we've got one such as the button. So again, you can make this more dynamic. Maybe you want it to be a wipe or flicker. So again, able to change exactly what you want enables you to really adjust it to how you want to do it. But how are we going to do this? How are we going to build this dashboard? Well, if we come into bolt.new, we're going to come into here and literally talk to it like a human or a developer. So we're going to, hi there. I would like you to build me an automation and AI dashboard that I can use with my clients so they can see their usage. For example, it could include number of models, agents active, the usage per month, etc. Please use the following structure to develop the dashboard. And then what we need to do is come back into our dashboard here. So as you can see, we've got the CSS. We want to copy all of that. We want to paste it in. We want to enter a new line. So shift enter. We want to come back across. We want to copy all of the JS. We want to paste that in. We want to do OK or click, you know, send across. What this will start to do in the background is actually develop this app for us. So it takes a little while to do because at the moment it's really understanding your request. It's understanding some of the assets and the information that you've given it from the other examples that we've extracted. What we can see here is everything running in the background. So it takes a little while to do. But again, remember this is using AI is doing it straight away. It's a great way to go from your idea to prototype incredibly quickly rather than spending months and months either learning how to code or, you know, it can be quite costly if you send it off to someone maybe to build that prototype for you. What we can see on the left hand side here are again, all of the behind the scenes, the wiring, you know, the foundations of maybe a building. So you can really understand how it's all working. Again, this is all being done for you. So you don't need to worry about it. 
what this will do is it will go through and it will iterate through and you can speak to it in plain English as well, or you know, plain human language for the way that you want to make the improvements. Brilliant, so that's all been generated. What we can see here is it's starting to load the preview. So what we can see is it will take a little second to load, just wait for it to come through. So there you go, AI and automation dashboard, exactly what we were looking for. So now we can start to go through and make some adjustments. So we've got a bar graph here, maybe we want to have that as more of a, a line graph. So we could do, please change the you know, usage analytics, bar graph to a line graph with two lines for resource usage and predictions. And again, talk to it normally. What this will do is it will go through and just make some of the changes in the background. So again, you don't need to do this. And what you can also do is incorporate new elements, which we're going to touch on in a moment. So that's exactly how you could maybe send it off to a make.com scenario. And that's what we're going to go through today. More of a blog interaction. So there you can see we talk to it normally and it's been able to generate this line graph here for us. Brilliant. So what we're going to do now is look to, you know, send it off to make.com. So what we want to do is include maybe a question section. So we want to do, please can you now a form section? I want to be able to send off in information to a specific webhook. Please use the following structure. So we want to do one, we want a form that the user can enter a question. This should be in the style of the below. Send off the webhook to, and this is where we need to come into our make.com. So we're going to come in, we're going to create a new scenario. We're going to do webhook. We're going to click on that and as you can see custom webhook we're going to generate a new webhook maybe we'll call this ai dashboard blog post what we'll do is wait for the url to be generated we'll copy that we'll come back into our app we'll do paste in there we'll do four um show the response back to the user okay so again we'll send that off so again doing all of this in the background, able to do it very, very quickly compared to maybe what you would have to do in the past. And again, if we've got any issues, any problem solving, we can go through and make those improvements so that we're not having any issues and it enables us to iterate through and get exactly we want, what we want incredibly quickly. So what we'll just wait for this is to update. It should take us back into the preview as well. Brilliant, so we can see the dashboard at the bottom here. Maybe what we want to do though is make it a bit more dynamic so we can come across to maybe this glow effect. We'll say, please can we change the form to form to have the title, what's on your thoughts and the text inside the form instead of saying, enter your question here. It should be share your thoughts and I'll return a formatted post. So we can make those changes. We can also say, please also make it more visually engaging with the following structure. We can enter that in again. That's the CSS that we've copied across. We'll copy the JavaScript. So that's gone in again, shift and enter just to give it a few more spaces. What we'll do is just see what that comes back with. So again, able to do this in real time so you can see exactly how it's working very, very quickly. So hopefully this can make it a bit more visually engaging because it was a bit boring before, just a usual form that maybe you would get sent across. What we also need to do is come across and test this AR dashboard in a minute and check that it's sending all of the information across to make.com as we would want it to be used. So we'll just wait for this to load. We'll see it's updating everything in the background. Brilliant. So as you can see here, it's come through and made the changes. It doesn't look quite right for some of the text in there, but as we can see, it's updated all of the information there. So what we'll do just to make sure that it's all working, we'll do okay. So what we're checking here is that it's receiving a response. So we'll do test, we'll do share thought. It will say error, 
but what we should see here is that it was successfully determined. So what this means is it's got the connection, it's able to send the information across, which is exactly what we want. Now to triple check that, what we can just do is rename this to receive thoughts. We can do run this module. What we can then do is just come back into Bolt and we can do linked in post. So we know it's a different response. We can do share thoughts. And as you can see here, information is coming across. And this is great because what it enables us to do now is once we've got it in make.com, we can basically use it for lots and lots of different applications. So whether that's maybe querying a database, maybe you've got product information, you can then recall this and send it back to the customer. Maybe you've got some documentation on how the tool works, how they could improve it. You know, maybe you've got some regular recommendations. You can store that away, give that to the customer. They could check their performance. They could send, you know, forms, emails, whatever it is. You've got so many possibilities now that you've got it into make.com. Brilliant. So what we're going to do now is just make that change to the structure here. So we're going to say, please, can you change the button within share your thoughts within share your thoughts to have black text and also have the button with a glowing white background we'll just see what that does see if it comes back with a good structure again able to do this dynamically go through what we're going to do now is go into make.com and we're going to make some of the changes around actually generating that maybe linkedin post that blog post that you could send across i found that claude's really good for this so again if you want to find claude you need to search claude and we're going to do create a prompt now today we're going to actually go through and show you how you connect it so what you want to do is do add we want to give it a connection name, so maybe we want to do linked in post. Uh, we'll do AI dashboard, dashboard, LinkedIn post. Now we need the API key. So what you want to do is you want to log into your Claude account. You want to go through to the API console. When you click into it, it should look something like this. You can then do create a key in the top right hand corner. We can then do again, just default workspace. We can name the key. So again, AI dashboard linked in post we can add that we can copy the key we can come back into make.com we can paste that in there and we can do save and this will create a new connection again they've got their different models here haiku use on it again what this will also do is automatically update in make.com so if they release a new model you'll be able to use it straight away today we're going to do maybe just a thousand tokens so it enables you to do a short blog post we're going to do add a message so you want to do user, sorry, you want to do assistant, you want to do your objective is to write a LinkedIn post that is highly engaging and would draw readers in. Please structure the post in the following way. And then what we can do is give it an example. So example, we can copy across one of the ones that I've done in the past. We can do get rid of where it says LinkedIn post. We can just format that quickly. We can do a couple of rows. So there you go. It's got an example. It knows how to do it. We'll come down, just get rid of the bits at the end. So that's all good to go. And then what we'll just say is here, type again, text. Here is the topic that the user would like a LinkedIn post written about. And we'll do that in there and we'll do okay. So again, this is gonna be writing and engaging LinkedIn post. And then what we need to do is send that information back across to Bolt. So you wanna come across, you wanna do webhooks, webhook response. We want 200 and then the body is just going to be this text response in here. So again, we're going to do response back to bolt dot new. We're going to save that. We're going to make sure it's all aligned nice and easily. And then we're going to do run once just to give it a test. So if we come back into bolt, we'll also see if our update around the structure of the buttons changed. So yep, yeah, there you go. All changed. It's got a nice glow behind it. It's white. It's also got some black text in there. So what we can say is I want to write a blog post slash LinkedIn post regarding AI and how it's being used in the 
development of new products so we'll share our thoughts that should be sent across so as you can see here it's received it so that's all great it's now writing that blog post for us so again this may take a little while for it to write and then it's sending the information back so what we're going to do is come back to bolt and what we can see at the bottom here is it's not receiving the request so again problem solving we just need to resolve this so again come to the left hand side we we'll just say we are not receiving the webhook response please ensure that it is captured and that the user can read it we'll send that off so what we'll just see is the updates that it makes in the background what it should be able to do is just improve it make sure it's capturing all the responses so we'll give that a test in a second once it comes back brilliant so it's all come back what we're going to do is give it another test so we're going to come to make.com we want to do run once we'll do write a linkedin post about ai and how it's advancing so quickly and providing a competitive advantage we'll do share thoughts again make.com should come run this through should generate a blog post for us. What we'll do this time is just show you the post that is outputted. So again, here, if we come into content, we wanna do one and text. So as you can see here, it's generating a great productivity game for us. Example post that you can do, it's also sending that response back. So we wanna see the body, there we go. So what we should do in here is now see the response. So there you go. You've got an automatic blog post written for you, again, you can do this dynamically for whatever you wanted to because now you're able to get information out of bolt into make.com to process it use it analyze it and send responses back so it's a great way to dynamically deal with data maybe they want to ask some questions about it what's my highest selling product you'd be able to send off the information and give the responses back this has been a really quick video we've pulled back the curtain on a great new tool which is bolt.new and you can generate really great dashboards incredibly quickly low code and it's exactly what you need for that customer. All of the resources are in the link below, so whether you want some of the prompts that we've used today, also we've got lots of other tools and prompts and demos and blueprints that you can access, make sure to check it out. Have a great day.